Next Friday, we'll have the big jobs report for August. I'm here with Jim Kramer. Jim, this is just one of the things you'll be watching right. next week. And it seems from some of the data that we've gotten so far, it seems that job gains may have strengthened right. for the and, month. What do you expect? Right, and that's why you keep hearing this taper talk. You keep thinking right. that what they have to do is say they've had, they're approximating that the labor number next week, the non-farm payroll, will be very strong. And if it's very strong, they'll look foolish if they're not tapering. So that's what this is. This number is all about. They're not taking into account the idea that there's going to be gridlock in Washington and things are going to be bad. They're not taking into account gasoline going up big. They're not taking into account the fact that apparel sales weren't strong at all. Mm -hmm. They're just saying, listen, this job growth number trumps everything. So we got to start getting, uh, start tapering because we're going to have the best jobs growth in six years. And so it is the fulcrum thing that you have to watch next week. Remember, job. Uh, in the studies that I've done over the last five years, the one statistic that really moves the market is this employment report. It's really important, and I think it's going to send stocks down if it's strong, because mm -hmm. we actually need not great numbers for the stock market. We need great numbers for the American people. Right, and the Fed has said it will be all about the data. Yes. So do you expect then tapering to begin in September if we get that positive jobs uh, I think they're saying, yeah. Right. Uh, you know, I think they're saying, yeah. I think they're prepared to be able to say that, see that number's good, and then suddenly you say, oh, now I see where they're tapering. Well, interesting that Dollar General reports next yes. Wednesday, and this is a stock I know you like it. This could benefit from a weaker jobs picture as it has already. When I look at the cohorts of retail have done well, it's the hard goods, therefore it's you know it's Best Buy. It's, a, it's the uh, high end, uh, if you have home goods, which is urban, and then it's the lowest end. TJ, which reported a really good quarter, is gonna have a great quarter, and Dollar Tree reported a good quarter. Watch Dollar General. They can do a buyback, they can do a merger with Family Dollar. They can uh, literally, they, they could just announce a huge dividend. I mean, they really got a lot of cash. Mm -hmm. And this is, remember, a company that, came, that went private because people felt it was uh, too undervalued. Then it came public. And the dollar stores are attracting a lot of people because people feel strapped and income growth's not good. So how would you recommend playing this group? Um, I think the Dollar Tree is the best. And I okay. would stay long Dollar Tree right into Dollar General. And if Dollar General is good, you're going to have a good trade in Dollar Tree. And if Dollar General is not that good, it could be share take Dollar Tree and buy it again. But perhaps we wait till after jobs report. To see how well, I don't know. I mean, I think those stocks do well if the Fed tapers, okay? okay. Because that will be a sign that that the economy is going to slow and the dollar stores do well in econ economic slowing. All right. Thanks Thank so you. much. That's Jim Kramer. I'm Brittany Umar for the Street.